Hi friends, this is Rahul B. Said and it gives me immense pleasure to be sharing my story on the channel of Unspoken Stories. I was uh, born in Lucknow. At a very early age, uh, I migrated to Africa, Zambia and that's where I grew up. I did my initial education there and uh, and that's exactly where my introduction to music began, where I uh, started uh, interacting and jamming with the local tribals, the Africans and but I came back to this industry because uh, I have a, a background of uh, you know uh, art, culture, literature so I guess that was in my genes and that's what got me back here. My uncle uh, is a very renowned author Vikram Seth, my grand aunt uh, Srimati Leela Seth who expired last year. She was India's first uh, woman chief justice and from my maternal side, my grandfather, my Nanaji, was a very well-known actor, Bollywood actor. His name was Majnu. And a lot of Punjabi films, super hit films. And then he went on to do a lot of Hindi films. Unki films are kuch gaane to aaj bhi bahut popular hai. Jaise songs like Lare Lappa, Lare Lappa, Lai Rakhda. That's from my Nanaji's film, Ek Thi Ladki. I've been a voracious reader. I wrote my first short story at the age of five. Since the uh, beginning, I was also in, into music and uh, very fond of... Uh, I started performing at a very young age and stuff like that. I uh, trained under Suresh Vadikarji initially for vocals and uh, then I was also uh, training uh, into uh, Western operatic vocals and uh, so I honed a lot of my uh, talent and capabilities and I started doing a lot of... Uh, uh, voiceovers and dubbings at that time because uh, that was also something that I was really good at. Uh, for example, the actor Prashant, a very well-known actor from South, there was a film he had done, Jeans, with Ashwarya Rai. So I'm the voice of Prashant in the Hindi version of Jeans. And I went on to do a lot of work for Walt Disney, uh, a lot of Hollywood films. Uh, I dubbed for Will Smith. I'm the voice of Will Smith in the Hindi version of I'm Legend, which was a huge, huge blockbuster hit in Hollywood. Then Christopher Nolan's film, uh, Batman Dark Knight. I was the voice of uh, Aaron Eckhart, who played the character of Harvey Dent, Harvey Two-Face. Then recently there was this film by Warner Brothers called Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. I was the voice of uh, Colin Farrell. So that has been a journey as well. Lakshmi Khan, Pyare Lal Ji and uh, other veteran music directors used to do their song recordings. I used to just be there, sit and observe. So I ended up actually uh, witnessing the great uh, maestros at work at such close quarters and got to learn tremendously. I started doing a lot of uh, uh, copywriting for ad agencies and uh, started writing jingles and uh, composing jingles for them and stuff like that. So as a journey, I began with advertising and for a long, long, long time, I did a lot of ad jingles. I ended up uh, literally producing entire uh, jingles and corporate anthems and stuff. Right? As I went on to work in advertising, I did some major projects with Shah Rukh Khan and uh, there was a complete uh, ad campaign that I had done the whole music and uh, I had written the entire script and I made him only speak the lines. He did the voiceovers for me. Every time he would uh, say his lines, he would actually get back to me asking whether it was alright or would I wanted another variation or a version. Uh, so it really taught me that, you know, the higher you get in life, I think it's your whole uh, humility and the way you treat your, your co-workers, that matters a lot. I did a special song, like a, uh, the theme song for Amitabh Bachchan. It was an international um, uh, jukebox. Working with such legends and uh, working with such people and seeing their humility and seeing the way they treat others, irrespective of what their uh, status is or, or what their background is, uh, that teaches you a lot. My day at times begins as early as 3 a.m. I'm like up and because my mind is running and a lot of things creatively start coming into my mind and then when I come back, for example, if, if I have to write a song or I'm working on something, uh, after that good one hour of drive early morning, <laughs> I come back, I get to my drawing board, my, uh, my writing, my composing and stuff and then I start putting my thoughts down into words. So mentally you've got to be always uh, alert, very agile because 
uh, you're dealing with so many different kind of projects, different kind of people throughout the day. And one project is not exactly similar to the other. So you've got to always have that switch on, switch off mechanism. I think the things have now changed for the better also, I would say, because uh, thanks to the digital medium, uh, more and more people have an access to whatever as an artist or as a creative person that you're doing. A person sitting in Iceland or Alaska can actually view what you've done out here. The expression is the same. An artist, the way he expresses or she expresses uh, uh, the talent and the music, that expression definitely is the same. Uh, the genres have changed. Uh, uh, various st styles of singing, styles of music have come in. Uh, with the new age singers, obviously. Yeah, one advice I would probably give to all the, the newcomers, uh, the singers, the composers is uh, try and broaden your horizons. Uh, listen to a lot of stuff, read a lot of stuff, watch a lot of stuff because we talk a lot about originality ki and hey, this is my original composition. It's all humbug. There is no such thing as originality because we as humans are a sum total of our own experiences. Original up tab hote ho, jab, if there are seven notes in the, in the spectrum of music, when you create an eighth note, that is original. Yamla Pagla Diwana, I was very fortunate to get to compose and write three songs and also do the playback for Sunny Devil in one of the songs. There's a very interesting incident where, for the song Charhade Rang, which I was uh, composing, which was written by me, if you listen to that song closely, Charhade Rang, or up shuru ka uska ek section sunenge pura rhythm ka. I've actually created that out of no music instruments. I've played objects. I've played things like a wooden stool, uh, a stand, a clipboard, and a lot of objects lying around the studio. Uh, I've done mouth percussions, finger snaps. That is so unique. So a lot of people had asked me, hey, where did you get this sound from? And I said, it's all specially created. I also sang the bit uh, which was picturized on uh, Sunny Dew. So I'll sing the portion that I, I sang. It was. Tenu Mirza Jatne Aak De Je Tu Ranja Nai Fakir Je Koi Tenu Chori Le Jave Ni tu saiba, nai tu hir.